And once I share my game and my ups and downs with you so they won't make these same mistakes. Once again, this is not to demean anyone. This story is not to demean anyone, right? It's just the truth. It's facts. It ain't no made up shit. Everything I'm talking, everything I'm finna tell y'all is all facts. I'm trying to get this light out back of my head. All right, let me say this one more time. For all you motherfuckers who want to say what you want to say and don't want to hear what I said, hear what I said and try to twist what I say. This is not to demean anyone. This is not to demean anyone. These are facts. These are my life experiences. This is stuff that I've experienced, that I've learned from, that I want to share with youngsters so they won't make the same mistakes I've made. Is that clear? To all you blogs that's going to try to take what I say and put it on your blog and try to make a story that nobody ain't going to see anyway because you only got 660,000 followers. I'm not going to be the guy that go on your blog because you twisted something I said and, 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 and speak on it to make your blog get attention. Nah, I ain't that stupid, fam. I'm on Showtime. I'm on Fox, okay? Your blog because you twist the words and made up shit. No, anybody got a, everybody got a blog. So 90% of the blog shit is false, all right? So don't pay attention to no blogs. Y'all know I'm a real one, so y'all can come right here to my page and I'm going to give it to y'all real. I ain't never lied about nothing and ain't no reason to lie now, right? All right. So I'm giving game to the young men out here and tell them to experience a hit dog will holler, bruh. This is facts. All right. So. And I hope even women, I hope some women hear this and be like, you know what? I'm going to find me a one man. I hope this is for women and men, but I want my young man to take heed to this and take, listen to this and take the right advice from this. Love her through the good and bad and build with her. Because I'm telling you, if you think having a whole bunch of hoes and having multiple kids by women is something to brag about. It's the, it, it will ruin your life. Thank God it didn't ruin mine, but it will, it will, it will add a lot of stress to your life that you don't need, bro. Facts. All right. All right. For a year or two, um, I go to San Antonio, right? She's with me in San Antonio. So y'all know I won a championship. So when it was time for me to go negotiate my contract the following year, the team told me, what's the number? It's, we want you here, Jack. It's a number of reasons why you're all here. And this is my first time ever hearing something like this. So one of the reasons why San Antonio didn't want to sign me back was because of the girl I was dating at the time. Said she was a bad influence to some of the other wives. They didn't like how she dressed. And San Antonio wasn't, wasn't that type of organization, but how can you tell somebody how to dress? You know what I'm saying? This was my woman, so I didn't really care about it at the time. I didn't really pay him no attention. Cool, I bounce. You know what I'm saying? Y'all should be worried about my basketball, not who I'm dating, right? So that was that's that's one reason why I didn't sign back after we won a championship in San Antonio, right? Was because of the woman I was with, right? Bam. So go to Atlanta. Me and her fight in Atlanta. We I'm about, we have a rocky relationship, in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? But, I, you know, we, we working shit out. You know, no no relationship is perfect. Come to Atlanta. I signed with Indiana the next year, and I signed my big contract in Indiana, right? I signed my big contract in Indiana. Before I get my big contract, we still together. We together, we living together and all that, right? So we moved to Indiana. I play a season in Indiana. I proposed to her. I can't remember why I proposed to her. None of that matters anyway, though. But I proposed to her, and during that time, you know, we plan to get married in Houston. We plan to get married in Houston, right? So, newsflash for all 530 of y'all on here. In order for a prenup to get drawn up, the, the, the two people, the man and the, the husband and the wife have to agree on what, the, and what the, on what the prenup says in order for the prenup to come out valid and you both sign it. Let me say that again. In order for a prenup to get drawn up, both sides have to agree. 
the, the, the husband and the wife, the bride and the groom, they both have to agree on the prenup before it's written up, before it, before it can even get written up. You have to agree on it, right? So I take care of a lot of people. I'm never letting one woman control of all the hard work I've done in my life. None of these motherfuckers was in the gym with me, right? So if I, I always told myself, whoever I'm married to, they signing the prenup off top. I'm not, it's not even a second guess. So man, I had to talk about it. So it's, we get the prenup back at least three, four months before the wedding, right? About four months, maybe at least, at least three to four months before the wedding. This is all true, y'all. So, four months, three, four months before the wedding, we get the prenup. I give it to her. Granted, when I give it to her, she shouldn't be surprised by it because me and her sat down and agreed up on the prenup, right? Me and her agreed up on the prenup. We agreed. Listen to me, y'all. We agreed on the prenup. Bam. So we agree on it. A month passed, like two months photo away, and I'm like, yo, look. We need to get that prenup signed so we can go ahead and, you know, send it in and get it, get it, you know, get all that taken care of. So when we get down there to Houston, we ain't got to worry about it. I tell her that like two or three times. It's a month. Well, that was two months before the wedding. It's a month before the wedding. Look, bro. I just, we, this is, this is something we agreed on. We shouldn't be, I shouldn't have to keep coming and tell you to sign this prenup, Right. What's up, Bird? I shouldn't have to, Bird. You know about this. I shouldn't have to tell you to sign this prenup, right? This is what I'm telling her. This, for, after the first time I came to it was two months before the wedding. Now it's a month before the wedding. I'm like, man, I've been asking you about this prenup. There's no way I should have to keep coming to you about this prenup, knowing we had to agree on this before they even drew it up. So why do I have to keep coming to you about it, about getting this, getting this signed? She's like, I'm gonna sign it. I'm gonna sign it. I'm gonna sign it. I'm going to sign it, I'm going to sign it, I'm going to sign it. I'm like, cool. You can sign it. But look, during that time, we making arrangements for the wedding, right? Because, you know, you still got to plan shit. So, you know, I love her. And I'm going to keep it real with you. I was in love with her. You know what I'm saying? I was in love with her. And we was building a family. So I'm like, okay, cool. I ain't going to make no big deal. I, 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 I went with planning a wedding. I didn't stop. I kept planning a wedding. I told her several times, dog, about the prenup and asking about it. So, bam. So, as we, this, 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 this is one of the twists of the wedding, right? So, as we plan up on a wedding, I'm from Texas, right? She from New York. I'm from Texas. I'm from Port Arthur, which is an hour from Houston where we get married, right? I want my pastor to do it. He right there. It'll save us some money. Da, 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 da. She is adamant about this certain pastor doing the thing, right? So I'm like, cool, it's, it's, it's her wedding, I ain't got no problem. Keep in mind, remember this pastor, right? Remember this pastor. This is a pastor, she, she, she was, I'm talking about screaming at me and everything. No, my, he had, this pastor has to do it. This pastor has, I'm like, well, this, we can save money and make more sense. This is my pastor since I was a kid. You don't even know this guy. Some other girl brought this pastor to her attention. Some other girl Brought the pastor name to her attention. She this ain't this a pastor she's never seen. Don't even know. But she don't want my pastor to do it, right? Cool. Remember that. So I'm like, fine. Fine. No problem. No problem. He can do it. Your pastor can do it. I'm cool with it. I ain't gonna be petty. Cool. I want you to have this is your day. Everything is yours. I spent about four hundred thousand on the wedding, y'all. About four hundred K, right? It's yours. Whatever you want to do. Hey, pastor don't matter to me. I just want to marry you. I don't even give a damn. Two weeks before the wedding. We go on to Houston a week before the wedding. Now we had two weeks before the wedding. Everything planned. We ready to go. I'm like, look, bro. Why I got to keep asking you about this prenup, bro? It ain't like you don't know what's on it. Like, what motives? This is what I told her. What you up to? What motives you on? I ain't on nothing. I just ain't had time to sign up planning a wedding office. I'm like, man, listen, man, all you gotta do is sign it. You ain't gotta, it ain't like you gotta read it all over again. You know what's in it, da da da. I'm gonna sign it, I'm gonna sign it. Me being a being a person I am, I know it's a wedding. 
and all that shit. I'm like, you know what? I know you probably just frustrated. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be a, 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 a supportive man at the time. I know you're going through a lot, baby. I know it's stuff. You know what I mean? Just when we get, just make sure I get it for the wedding. You know what I'm saying? Da 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 da. <laughs> we go to Houston. We get there, right? We get to Houston. The night I get to Houston, you know, I, 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 she, we, when we get to Houston, we separate. So she go with her friends. I go with my guys. You know, I'm at home. This is my hometown. So, you know, I'm strip clubbing all kind of shit. Wilding out with the homies. My partner Weezy on here. He was there. Wilding out with the homies and shit, having a good time. So my homegirl Mimi, mama, Miss Doris was our nanny at the time, right? We had a nanny at the time. We had a baby. We had a nanny at the time. We had we had uh, we had our my oldest daughter, and my son was I think my son was on the way, and uh, so we had a nanny at the time. And uh, Miss Doris came to my room. I'm like Miss Doris, real J Sams. What's up, my boy? I'm like Miss Doris. You know, it's wedding in two days. I ain't got no prenup. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm telling you, Miss Doris, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. No, no, baby, don't. You know, you know, I'm all, I'm with you. You know, I'm with you. I know you're right, but don't start having that attitude. It's gonna get done. Da da da. da. Don't worry about it. It's gonna get done. It's gonna get done. So I'm like, all right, Miss Doris. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be optimistic. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, you know, I'm having a good time. Da da da. I'm like, am I having? A, I'm thinking in the back of my mind. Listen, man, I ain't getting married without no prenup. Fuck out of here. Not five. You know, that's what I'm thinking the whole time. I'm like, man, I can't believe this motherfucking girl done wait, wait until I spent all this money, got all the way down here, so bam. Miss Doris come to me uh, saying, don't worry about it, it's going to get done. I'm going to go get her to sign it, da-da-da-da, right? So, my nigga, this the day of the wedding. Hold on, let me fire my shit back up. Y'all ready for the good part? celebrities, everybody, the her friends, everybody, right? So we wake up that morning. We I'm getting dressed. I'm getting dressed. You know what I'm saying? We all getting dressed for the wedding. Da, da, da. Everybody getting, you know what I'm saying? All my groomsmen, we in the little groomsmen room. We all get dressed. In the back of my mind, you know what I'm saying? I'm all thinking about this damn prenup, right? That's all I'm thinking about. So my nanny comes in the room. She's like, how you doing, baby? Good morning. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, good morning, da 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 You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what's up with the prenup? She like, uh, I talked to her. She said she's going to sign it. I'm a, I'm, I'm finna go get it right now. I just wanted to come check with you to see how you doing this morning. Make sure you all right. Make sure you wasn't stressing about it. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Nah, you say she going you know, you to gonna sign it? I'm cool with it. Getting dressed, me and my boys drinking, smoking, all that, getting dressed, having a good time, da, 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 whatever we doing for the wedding. So after we get dressed, where we stand at, at the hotel, where we stand at, it's a big ballroom where we was having a wedding, right? So we had to walk, we had to uh, go get on this private elevator, me and all my, all my groomsmen, we get on the private elevator, and we go to a little back room. Well, from the back room, we just walk out into the wedding, right? So when we get to that, when we get to that room, that's when I, once we get in that room, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, hold up. You know what I'm saying? This one, I really turn up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, hold up, hold up, man, hold up, hold up. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know, and then this, this, this one, Steph, this is why, this why Steph Marbury and Mike Bibby, my brothers, all right, for life. Steph Bibby, Steph uh, Marbury and Mike Bibby are my real brothers. Like my real brothers. You see what I'm saying? No bullshit. These are my real brothers. So we in the back. We walk to the back room. And the motherfucking, um, the, uh, the priest come in. The preacher come in with his, with his, with his, uh, other, with his assistant, I guess. And then my nanny come back in there with a, with a, with a, like a, with a spook look on her face. Like she still like, she, she pulled me to the side and she like, she still ain't signed it. So when I said that, I'm like, well, shit, I ain't getting married then. She was like, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. And so look, so the preacher, remember the preacher, y'all. Remember the preacher. When I say, when I say, oh, I ain't, no, nah, I ain't getting married. Steph was like, she ain't signed a prenup. What the fuck? What we even here for? I'm like, yeah, dog, I ain't doing it. The preacher steps up. He's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The preacher. 
says, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I look at him like he said, this is what he said. He said, now, now, hold on. Don't, now, I know you love this girl. Don't make a drastic decision. I think you should just let God handle it. I say, huh? I think you should just let God handle it. Me, as a, as a pastor, I don't believe in prenups. Now I know why she was fighting for you. You don't believe in prenups. Now it all makes sense. I ain't getting married. Damn what you believe in. I put everything in God's hand. And God is telling me to put the pen in her hand and make her sign this goddamn prenup before I get married. That's what God telling me. So God telling me and you two different things, partner. As that's going on, Steph Marbury grows crazy. Hell no. Nah. No, we ain't doing it. Hell, no, it ain't going on. Steph go crazy. Mike Bibby walks. Are you serious, Steve? Fuck out of here. Everybody, no, 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 no. Bruh, this preacher has the nerves to sit there for about five or ten minutes and try to convince me that God told him that, that he don't believe in prenups, so I shouldn't believe in him. Listen, bro, we ain't in the same tax bracket, first of all. You know what I'm saying? Bam. So now, now y'all see why she wanted that preacher so bad that she didn't even know.